So yeah, how do you improve your night sky star photography slash astrophotography? First of all, pick a night that has no moon. Um, today we have barely any moon and it's just gone down below the horizon, so that is perfect. Secondly, um, pick a location with no artificial light. So what's shining into my face right now? No good. You don't want any, any light that's made by humans so you just want natural light from the stars being high up in altitude helps as well figure out uh, what kind of settings your camera uses needs to shoot uh, astrophotography for me that's about iso 3200 up to 6400 and obviously i need a wide lens i'm using the mzuiko 7 to 14 millimeter f 2.8 pro lens on the wide end and um, you need a lens that's fast, so you want something like f2.8 or even lower. Set your lens to manual focus, set it to infinity, and then just go a little bit back and do a few test shots. Settings, I'm shooting at about 15 seconds, f2.8, the widest aperture possible, and ISO, like I said, 32 to 6400, um, depending on your sensor, depending on your camera and whatnot. Uh, I'm shooting with the Olympus EM1 Mark II, which works perfectly fine for me, up to 6400 ISO, plus some noise reduction in post-production, of course. Then, also really important, is plan your shot. Don't just head out and shoot. Obviously, you want to test and play around a bit, but plan a shot when there's daytime, then go out and do the shot at nighttime. So be, be aware of your location, plan it out, and go out there and capture that shot. Now, one thing that's really important, when you're shooting the night sky, aim for the Milky Way. That is a perfectly nice subject for the night sky. And um, be, be aware of where the Milky Way is and where it will be. Um, there's some great apps out there. Uh, I use Sky Guide and I can predict where the sky will be, where the stars will be, where the sun will be, where the moon will be at a certain time and, it, and there's a virtual reality so uh, I can hold my phone up and do the whole thing which is really amazing if you want to plan a shoot before uh, the actual time. And then most of all, be prepared for the cold. It is always cold at night. Uh, I'm up at four and a half thousand meters now and it is freezing cold. But um, yeah, the moon has just gone down below the horizon. And now we're gonna go shoot some Milky Way shots with some mountain silhouettes in the foreground. Um, let's see what we can get. I hope my torch is not gonna interfere with the shot, but uh, pointing it away, so that shouldn't be too bad. Here we go, 15 seconds. Gotta wait. It's finished. Oh, it's finished. That is not looking too bad. Welcome to the Wakhan Valley, which is right on the border with Afghanistan. You know, may, might sound dramatic, but I think it's a bit overrated. Um, Afghanistan is just a country like every other. Yes, it has some dangerous places in it and maybe some dangerous people, but not everywhere is always dangerous and scary. I think the media has blown it completely out of perspective. So yes, we're in a safe area. Um, and yeah, we've arrived, had a bit of a shorter drive today, only six hours. But now we're gonna go and explore the little village around here. Finally, we're down low again on the tree line. As you can see, trees everywhere. People are, can grow stuff. I even saw some insects. And we had some delicious fresh bread earlier on for lunch uh, after eating stale bread, <laughs> frozen, stale, cold, disgusting old bread for the last few days. So yeah, it's nice to be uh, somewhere where actually life seems to be going on in a different way, in a normal way again. There is power as well, which is nice. We've been living off generator power that's been on occasionally for one or two, maybe three hours every day. 
So yeah, it's been a bit of a juggle with charging stuff, but yeah, now back to civilization, I would say. So let's go take some photos in the village. down larder. <laughs> Very rare. No, I'm just kidding. They're all over the place. <laughs> Yamchun Fortress which is from the 12th century and 500 meters above the valley the Wakhan Valley so all that I know that's pretty much all I know um, it's old it's kind of fallen apart and it has an epic view um, so let's go explore there happens to be a hot spring a kilometer further up the hill so guess what we're gonna be doing next Chun for <laughs> all right 